Homologous recombination is the exchange of similar DNA sequences between different DNA molecules. Cells use homologous recombination to introduce genetic variation, as well as to repair damaged DNA. When you have completed this exercise, you should understand the double-strand break repair model of homologous recombination, understand how this mechanism differs from the holiday model, and understand the cellular functions of homologous recombination. The mechanism of recombination in E. coli is called the RecBCD pathway. This mechanism closely follows the double-strand break repair model of homologous recombination. Therefore, the RecBCD pathway serves as a good model for recombination in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes, although the specific proteins involved differ from organism to organism. In the RecBCD pathway, Homologous recombination is initiated by double-stranded breaks in a single DNA molecule, in contrast with the holiday model, where recombination begins with single-stranded NICs at identical positions in each DNA duplex. In the double-strand break repair model of homologous recombination, the DNA is then processed to generate a gap in the DNA with a 3' prime single-stranded overhang or tail. In E. coli, the RecBCD enzyme processes blunt breaks in DNA molecules to generate such tails. RecBCD is composed of three protein subunits that are the products of the RecB, RecC, and RecD genes. RecBCD binds to the DNA at the site of the double-stranded break. RecBCD has both helicase and nuclease activities. It tracks along the DNA, unwinding the DNA, and frequently cleaving each strand. The cleaved DNA is destroyed. E. coli DNA contains relatively frequent 8-nucleotide crossover hotspot instigator sequences, commonly referred to as chi sites. When RecBCD encounters a chi site, its nuclease activity is altered. The mechanism of this change is unclear, but appears to be associated with either the inactivation or loss of the RecD subunit. Beyond the chi site, RecBCD no longer cleaves the DNA from 3' prime to 5'. Prime. However, the 5' prime to 3' prime nuclease activity of RecBCD increases. This results in a 3' prime single-stranded tail on the DNA, terminating in the chi sequence. RecBCD helps to direct a protein called RecA to the single-stranded DNA tail. The active form of RecA is a protein DNA filament consisting of hundreds of RecA subunits, with one RecA for every three nucleotides of DNA. The filament has two distinct binding sites, a primary site with the single-stranded DNA molecule and a secondary site. The RecA single-stranded DNA complex participates in a search for DNA homology. The secondary site binds a double-stranded DNA molecule. Binding in the secondary site is rapid, transient, and independent of DNA sequence, meaning the filament can quickly bind a double-stranded DNA molecule and scan along its sequence. Once a region of base pair complementarity is located, RecA promotes the formation of a stable complex between the single-stranded DNA tail in the primary site and the complementary strand of the double-stranded DNA molecule in the secondary site. As in the holiday model, this step is called strand invasion. However, unlike the holiday model, the RecBCD pathway can involve two holiday junctions. Once the holiday junctions have formed, RecA can dissociate from the DNA. The replication machinery then fills in the gaps in the DNA. This synthesis of new DNA is another feature missing in the holiday model. The next step of the RecBCD pathway is branch migration. This step is similar to that of the holiday model, except it can involve two holiday junctions instead of just one. In the RecBCD pathway, this step is catalyzed by two proteins, RUVA and RUVB, which form RUVAB complexes at holiday junctions.
RUVA protein is a DNA binding protein that recognizes the gross structure of the holiday junction, regardless of its specific DNA sequence. RUVA recruits two hexamers of RUVB to each holiday junction to form RUVAB complexes. RUVB is an ATPase, and ATP provides the energy to drive the exchange of base pairs during branch migration. The final step of the RECBCD pathway is holiday junction resolution. Again, this step is similar to that of the holiday model, except it can involve two holiday junctions. As will be shown, the possible products are the same, patch recombination products, also called non-crossover products, or splice recombination products, also called crossover products. In the RECBCD pathway, this step is catalyzed by the RUVC endonuclease. For each holiday junction, there are two possible cleavage sites. Site 1 consists of the two DNA strands that have not crossed over. Site 2 consists of the two DNA strands that have crossed over. If both junctions are cleaved in the same way, patch recombination products result. For example, if both junctions are cleaved at Site 1, patch recombination products result. Patch recombination products also result if both junctions are cleaved at Site 2. If the junctions are cleaved at different sites, splice recombination products result. For example, if the first junction is cleaved at Site 1 and the second junction is cleaved at Site 2, splice recombination products result. Splice recombination products also result if the first junction is cleaved at Site 2 and the second junction is cleaved at Site 1.